TBSW episode 114. We talk about Suez Canal blockage. Isn't it Suez? Suez. Suez Canal blockage. Advertisement controversy. Poop. Why does it float or sink? Daylight savings. Abolish or not? Smashed glass art. Coming up on TBSW episode 114. The B-Side Word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devin and I'm here with Emma. Hey. I'm here with CJ. Hello. And I'm here with Alexander. Oh. Uh, Hoy. You sound like a game show host that says... What do you mean? <laughs> Come on down. And now you've won a car. <laughs> Righty ho. I know her. <laughs> the <laughs> Suez Canal in Egypt, Egypt has finally been freed from a blockage. Has anyone seen what's been happening? Yes. Yep. Oh, well, the Ever Given cargo ship, 220,000 ton cargo ship, one of the biggest in the world, has been freed after about 150 hours of it being stuck. So it was on its way from Malaysia to the Netherlands and it was crossing the Suez Canal. That connects the Red Sea um, from the Mediterranean Sea. And it's basically a shortcut, one of the most used passageways on the seas, I guess, because it saves them having to go right down to the tip of Africa and all the way around. So um, boats come from both ways, from Asia and from Europe, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so this massive cargo ship is is sort of traveling that way. And due to high winds, apparently it, it just lost the ability to be able to steer I guess, and has... It lost the ability to steer. To, yeah, due to high winds. That's what they're saying. And it has caused it to become lodged or had caused it to become lodged, completely blocking the entire canal. So the part of the canal that it was at was a single passageway only. It used to only be single, but now um, quite there's, there's some parts which are which have two lanes. Um, which allow traffic to go both ways. But this is, yeah, that it basically blocked the whole thing. Do you know how much it was um, costing people yes. a day? How much? Uh, it is estimated to have cost Egypt a yeah. billion dollars. Just on like, it's like a toll, right? A toll booth. It's, they it costing... get about $5 billion a year from people using that. Yeah, that so they charge. It's like this yeah. massive... Egypt is a massive toll booth. Yeah, they reckon it's about three hundred and thirty thousand per, per, per like go. <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> when you pass trip. go per trip. When, That's you, the one. when you pass go, you get. <laughs> I know. I, I was going to say like, geez, <laughs> per go. Um, three hundred thirty thousand what? Ooh, that's a good one. Dollars, let's say. US <laughs> USD, I think. <laughs> I say because depending on the denomination, be, that makes quite a big difference. Yeah, wouldn't it be Egyptian money? No, no, no. no. I think it'd be US, wouldn't it? Yeah, because they be... the ship owner might it says it owes one billion dollars to Egypt, US dollars. I think it is. It was carrying three and a half billion on that ship. On that ship. Mm -hmm. Wow. So this Suez Canal carries about ten percent of the global trade. That's unreal, eh? And about 70% of global oil. So this was a major delay. There was apparently about 350, 370 ships were waiting for the passage to free up on both ends of the canal. So this has turned into a big palava. global issue because... More than a palava? Well, it's like a chain reaction. So uh, lots of ships are waiting. Other ships made the decision to not wait and, and go around go around but that adds weeks to the trip and adds like hundreds of thousands of dollars to the trip now not only that but there's other imbalances that are happening around the world with um just logistics anyway mm. due to covid so 
One of these imbalances at the moment is container imbalance. So due to COVID... Container imbalance? Yeah. North America and Europe are not exporting as as, as much as, as they used to. Mm-hmm. However, they are still relying quite heavily on imports from Asia. So an example of a container imbalance at the moment is that for every 100 containers the US receives, it is only sending back 40. So this things that ha- things like this is just going to add to an already stressed system logistics wise because <laughs> now 370 370 ships yeah. waiting at both ends yeah. will all arrive in the ports at at a very similar time frame <laughs> the ports can't handle it i just it's, the container it's problem <laughs> yeah the container problem is a big problem <laughs> because can't. china's like we got no more containers because we're sending them all and we're not getting any back. I don't know why I find this funny, but, the, but the, <laughs> when you started saying container imbalance, I'm like, huh? <laughs> what do you mean? I never even thought there was a system about containers. Right? But now it's like if you've got no containers to fill, that's a big problem. It is, right? Are they still make Anyways. Wow. I'm, uh, guys, I'm going to send you a picture. Send the picture. I just want to tell, you, tell me what you f- see when I send you the picture. What image do you see on this map? Penis. So that's the map what? of the ship that got trapped. Hold, hold on. Did you say penis? Yeah. That's a penis, sir. Is that what you... Is that, is that what you wanted us to see? Yeah, but that's... What, people were asking, why is this ship... What what the, what, what the hell was the ship doing? <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was someone guiding him around the port going, um, go do a circle here. No, you got to go up, go back down, do another circle. And he was able to do it. Wait, what? D- d- there was some guy giving him directions yeah. who goes, From NASA. You know it would be funny? <laughs> if I make him draw his penis. <laughs> the satellite will pick it up. He will never know. So that's how I found out about this. Ah, oh, so you were, you just saw this and thought, oh, that's a bit funny. Yeah, I did. And then you started talking about container imbalance. I'm like, <laughs> this is not where I wanted to go. This is this is very detailed. and. Yeah, but I thought that was really interesting. It is, uh, it is quite interesting. Now, what I found funny about it is, did you guys see the picture of the um, crane that was there? Yes. This huge ship and yes. one crane? No, no. <laughs> there was lots of cranes, but the cranes looked like little plastic toys against the ship. I know, but I, there was a picture that was circulating. It was just one crane and the ship. <laughs> and they're like, oh, look, the emergency team's arrived. Just one crane. <laughs> and I was like see, laughing. That's I've so just funny. Seen, <clears throat> I've just seen the mock-up pictures, like, um, like the Formula One car trying to pull it out of the (laughs) out of the stuck situation but like actually there were people so there's like diggers and dredgers and all this right digging like 18 meters down trying to like anyway the the people that were driving those diggers and and trying to dig up all the clay soil whatever sand and whatever were really scared because this thing when they look up is basically the same size as a as or similar size to the empire state building Wow. I saw I saw a uh, picture where they had that the picture of the boat, and then then for comparison they had a person standing on one of the shipping containers, which looked like a dot, and then they had the Empire State Building on its side as well, and it was basically the same. Wow. Um, so there was these poor people trying to dig, and like they were thinking at any moment, like this thing could just come crashing down on them. So it was pretty brave, but <laughs> they were digging, they were using dredges that could suck like 2,000 cubic meters of stuff up every hour. And they were going 24 <laughs> hours, 800 people, 24 hours a day to get this thing. Sage, freed. Sage, I saw that. Um, the digger. I saw the, the crane. I mean, the. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, it's hilarious. It's actually. I'm like, hilarious. why did you send one crane? I was in the fleet. It's so. I'm looking. It's so bad. It, um, because my mate, when he was when I he started talking about this, right? He goes, they, were, they had a group of tugboats trying to push it. Yeah, they were pushing and pulling and pulling, and I'm like, I don't know much about how to rescue a boat. It worked. The so, tugboats work. Yeah, the tugboats aren't the tiny little sailboats. They're like they had about I think there was how many 
There was a couple up against it trying to keep it stable. There was three up against it. Really? Trying to keep it stable. And then there, it was something worth like 10, 10, 10, like 10,000 horsepower like between all the tugboats. And they're pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. And then eventually they managed to – it moved about 100 wait, feet. Wait, 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 wait. They were pushing and pulling to unwedge it? Mm. Re- Whilst digging the sand, the clay, And that, and the that one crane that was there – was there just for moral support. <laughs> there was 800 people 24 hours a day and they're like, yeah, oh, they're wow. doing all these manoeuvres and it finally got free with the help of the full moon, which which elevated the, the tide. <laughs> uh, okay. I thought, I thought werewolves. Uh, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> <anymore. laughs> Okay, so Dev, you sent a link to an article uh, put out by South Australia. They've been putting advertisements, I don't know if it's online, but it's supposed to be across all types of media. Mm. And the tagline is, go down south with your mouth. (laughs) Sorry, so what? South Australia. um... If you look up um, South Australia yeah. advertising, are we are we really going to be discussing this? <laughs> <laughs> South Australia advertisement. What, what could it possibly be about? So I watched the advertisement, and it's going down south with your mouth. And it's all about food in South Australia because they've got you know the vineyards and amazing chefs and all this you know all this and that and yeah i mean australia always has has always had edgy um yeah advertisement advertisement to attract people because remember um who was that chick and she said where the bloody hell are you do you remember that one yeah um what's her name lara uh lara bingle i can't remember yeah that's it bingle she's she she got married to wevington whatever your name is did she yeah, the um, guy from Avatar. Right. And the one that I always remember is this one for um, Northern Territory. I'm going to send it to you in the group. Yeah, what is it? i send it to you in the group. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's an so these people are the ones, I think, that made this new one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this got banned. Oh, I don't know if it got banned. No, it did. Oh, did it? Yeah, the advertisement board said it was obscene and offensive or something. I mean, it got people talking about it, and that's the whole point of advertisement, right? To get people talking about it. Mm. I mean, it's it's cheeky. I don't know if it was. I think it's cheeky. It's more than cheeky because oh. that's probably one See of the worst the words North, you can like use territory? in the entire world. Yeah, Northern world. Territory. What was that, Ems? It's probably one of the most gross, yuckiest words you can use in the entire world. I still find things like that weird to me. Like, if you're offended by a word, that's your problem, not my problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, don't, I love this kind of... Because you know what? The Aussie humour has always been sort of edgy, cheeky sort of stuff. And they verge... It's like it always verges on whether it's gone too far or it's just in the line. They've always been like that. <laughs> See what, you in the. What's what the one you, you're sending, Dev? Or is that? Oh, you sent that, that, one. that. I sent that one. What do you think about that advertisement? My one's above. Alexander, what do you think about that? It's cheeky, right? It's funny. If I saw it, I personally would not be offended in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. But my question would be, how did they yeah, get away I mean, with this? How? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. because I know that other people would be offended uh, by it. I'm going to get offended. But everyone's too easily offended these days. No. Because like this, uh, this one... No, I, I think when it comes to... So when I, I just want to clarify what I said as well. Like, if, if you're offended by a word, it's your problem. I'm not talking about, like, words that are about people. But, word, like, swear words to me, I don't, I don't get swear words. Like, they're just words. If you're they're just words to express something if you're offended by that i don't understand it i've never understood it since i was a kid yourself i still don't understand it um all i gotta say is 
I do want to go to South Australia right now. So I want to go down south with my mouth. <laughs> but the go down south with your mouth one, I actually, when I look at it, if you hear it, it sounds way worse than if you look at the actual advertisement. Really? Like the it's the way she says it. So if you listen to it. Oh, how does she say it? Her, she's got oh, a very seductive. Well. Yeah, it's a video. Where, where? Oh. Where is that, it? Oh, please one. tell like me this she's one. a bit of a. This one? A, I think so. A moment. Yeah. <laughs> like this yeah. picture the picture advertisement makes me think it's about food from go up a couple ones i put the link on there to the article and there's you can or I'll, as a, a, a the dev will play it yeah why does it taste so much better when you go down south we travel in search of is that seductive to you guys experience. this sounds like no. d- this honestly sounds, sounds like, like dev something trying to be a, a, a seductive woman <laughs> I'm not very. I'm not. Just if you took Dev's voice and just hired the frequency a little bit, this would be. You. <laughs> <laughs> Only to be rediscovered. Oh yeah. <laughs> is that is that what you've been doing for work, you cheeky bastard? Your tongue, your tongue yearns. Go down south with your mouth. <laughs> and your taste buds take you to a fond place, familiar. Is it time to breathe and feel the crisp air down here? Is it time to let our abundant delights burst in your mouth? <laughs> Is it time to bask in Australian bush, native to our southern lands? Is it time to discover... Everything about this is screaming dev at me. Like, <laughs> it, it sounds like him... Like, like, like it sounds like across. exactly the way you would describe this. <laughs> Did you hear that? The like, 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 yeah. Uh, Ernie, uh, have you been transitioning, trans- uh, transitioning, and told no one? No, mate. Look, <laughs> go down south with your mouth. <laughs> I'm telling you, bump that up, bump that frequency up a little bit. That is Dev's voice. So I gotta go pitch. I gotta pitch it higher. Is he? Go. Yeah. <laughs> Go down yeah. south. And I can't do it. I can't do it. You're making me laugh too much. I can't do it. My, my cheeks are so... I don't know. I think it's cheeky. I don't mind it. Again, like this to me is one of those... They know what they're doing yeah. when they're putting this out there. They yeah. know that people are going to get offended the by choice it. choice of words. Which is going to get them more talking. marketing yeah. and more attention. More talking, yeah. I just... I get like... I just... People try, I don't to find be, it people try to be offended. Because if you're being offended, you know that they're trying to make you offended yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. So you're just like biting. <laughs> Daylight savings. Now, I bring this up because our clocks change tonight. And England's changed last week, was it? Or two weeks ago? Last week, and America's week. changed like at the beginning of the month. Right. So it's that time of year. I've been all thrown really? off this month. That time of year, March, October, and March, right? Mm. We never know which way. <laughs> we never ever know which way's which. It always comes around. It shouldn't be a surprise, but it is every time. And then we're like, do we go back? Do we go forward? No, do we go back? Do we go my forward? mate, my mate, I told you, my mate, he came up with a good saying. Mm. No, he didn't. It's. Fall back, spring forward. Yeah. It's not his saying. I know it's not his saying. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I mean, you did kind of paint it. It's his it's saying. Not, it's not yeah, his I, saying. I was going to say, <laughs> but you, you, you did say my yeah. mate came up with a good saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mate came up with a good saying, right? Full stop. <laughs> that, that was not his saying. Was someone else's. <laughs> that he stole from but someone else. he decided else. to steal right? it. That he stole from someone else. Yeah. And you and you anticlimax now because you said it yeah <laughs> anyways and but you said we always get mixed up yeah so what what's happening on sunday we're falling I back mean- <laughs> we're falling back so we're going back an hour but so the if, it's, quest- if it's seven o'clock in the morning do we go to eight o'clock or do we go no, to six no we no we gain an hour's sleep so what You're going time the opposite is it direction so we're going us. so it's if it's seven we go back to six we go back to six that's what I the said. The fall back and no. the spring forward are describing what the clock does. Does. The yes. clock yes. goes back. Yeah. But I was having this uh, argument because it was a conversation when we first started. It turned into an argument 
with Emma because I was saying exactly that and she's no, like, No, you were going the other way. You were going the other way. <laughs> this Wait. is what I'm t- anyway, No, I said fall mind. back. I said fall back. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! This is what I'm saying. Anyway, no, no. anyway, that wasn't you, what you, the article is about. Said full back. So, do we abolish or keep daylight savings? And this is the big question that many, many, many countries have been having. Right? Really? Apparently, this is the big question. I would assume the big question is how do we get rid of coronavirus? Yeah, yeah. How we fix up people? How we fix up global warming? In, well, in the context, the in the context so. of however, time, CJ. However. Europe last year, Parliament did agree that they're going to get rid of it. They haven't like done it what? as yes, yes. When yes. you say Parliament and Europe, what what are we talking about? The like Parliament, my country? Europe Parliament. Europe have apparently, or well, not apparently, Europe has agreed to abolishing daylight savings, but it hasn't Again, implemented. Like it. when we say Europe, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Well, like I don't Europe's know. A continent. Well, I, are you in it don't or worry. not? You're I in don't England. Know. You're not part of Europe anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the thing. I am part of Europe. This is why I'm confused. No, you're not. Brexit. I'm not. I'm not in the Brexit. EU, but I'm part of Europe. <laughs> no, you're not. Brexit. <laughs> See, no, you're not. <laughs> Brexit. The you you, you want to be out? EU? You're out. Okay. No. Wait. Let me just bring up one second. Maybe it's the EU. So the EU. Europe turns back clocks for daylight savings. So. EU voted to abolish the practice of daylight savings in 2021, but concrete plans on what comes next remain elusive. So they haven't (laughs) implemented it. (laughs) Europeans, the European (laughs) Union has abolished yeah, they voted they like to savings, abolish. But there's nothing concrete. No, because they don't know how to implement <laughs> so it. But nothing, nothing's happened. <laughs> it, so it, it's just like Brexit. I don't. They, they want to get out, but they don't know how. I don't. Right. I don't get the. We don't know how to implement it. Surely the implementing <laughs> is just not changing your clocks. <laughs> like, just do nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But uh, uh, Alexander, do you know what's funny? I actually don't. Now I see where you live. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, you know that thing where we change our clocks all the time? How do we stop doing that? <laughs> I don't know. We have to come up with a plan. <laughs> and there's no concrete plan. That's what gets me. <laughs> like, it's the hardest decision. <laughs> oh. Well, Ooh. no, I get what they're. Okay, I, I, I kind of get it because you've got go on, three go options. Enlighten us. Me too. I, I, I get the UK's response. Oh, and I by the way, Hawaii and parts of Arizona have done this for the past 50 years. They abolished it so long ago. Yeah. Um, but... Well, well, what did they, they do? Went to, so maybe it can help Europe. I think they use um, <laughs> permanent standard time, it's called. What's that? Just a permanent time. That's just the time. Yeah. <laughs> Why is permanent standard time? Just the time. So the reason they want to get rid That's of it time, is mate. because it actually does have a significant effect on people's well-being and oh, health. Oh, man. So uh, immediately following, especially the March um, change changes, did you know mm. that people suffer more strokes and heart attacks in the first in that first week or so after the clocks have been changed? No. Well, they do. <laughs> Wait, where? Where? Northern Across or the world. Hemisphere? Across the world. So, but, oh, but the March, this, the March this one's would different be, depending on where you live. Yeah, this would be not the probably the Northern Hemisphere, not the Southern Hemisphere. Right. So, basically, what they think is triggering it is the loss of sleep, which basically is a circadian misalignment now. So, apparently. For those six months of the year, whatever, your our bodies are literally misaligned. Um, our circadian rhythm is off. We we produce less melatonin because it's still light at night. And that has an effect on our health and well-being. So they there's people, they think it's because when there has been disruptions to the circadian rhythm, it increases inflammatory markers and stress response, and it can take a toll on the heart and the brain. But so, that's with the change of clocks. So surely getting rid of it yeah. would reduce the risk factors. Exactly, which is why they're saying to get rid of it. There's a lot of people saying they should abolish it. Um, why, why did um, daylight savings come? So we'd have more daylight at night? Harvest, for the farmers. Harvesting. 
Harvesting. Yeah. Oh, that's not necessary now. Isn't it's it? it's for the winter months. Cause the winter months. Yeah. I, wait, no. Hold, but I say that summer months. I say that it's. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Wait, I'm confusing myself now because from what I understood, it was for the farmers in because in the winter when you roll back the clock an hour, it means that it's now lighter in the morning. Yeah. Than it would be, which helps farming. But yeah. I also understand that the winter's actually the normal time frame. Yeah. Yeah, so winter's the normal time it's frame. Off. Yes. Summer is off because it shouldn't be so light for so long. But then it makes it darker Queen's... in the mornings. No. No. In, in it makes summer. it darker in the evenings. Yeah. No, it it's... makes it darker in the mornings in the summer. No, no, it'll be lighter. Darker in the evenings. No, darker <laughs> in the mornings, darker in lighter the morning. in the evenings. No, summer. I'm te- I'm, okay, put it this way. I've, okay. just, got, I've just done I feel, it. I'm I telling feel like you I'm it's darker in, in the mornings and lighter in the evenings because you're waking up I'm an hearing hour the same earlier. conversation over and over again. Yes, but If that's I wake be- up an hour earlier, it's darker than it would be if I woke up an hour later. No. Yes, yeah. how are you disagreeing with that? No, I'm not disagreeing with that. It makes that. it lighter in the evenings. It is lighter in the evenings. It's lighter in the evenings, but it, it should be You said darker. darker in the evenings. No, if you don't change it, it uh, I think we're talking about two different things. If you leave it as it's supposed to be, it should be darker in the evenings. But if you change it, it makes it lighter in the evenings. Right, but I'm saying they if we're get talking rid about helping farmers, make it- making it lighter in the mornings... Then why did they change it in the summer? What? Because it made it and darker in the mornings. How was it helping farmers? What? Why did they just get up an hour earlier? Because it's dark. No, they don't want it. I don't think it's for summer. It's for winter. Or get up an hour later. I don't know. Well, but I'm, I'm I understand it's not for summer, but that's when it changes. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. The whole thing the confuses me. Time. The whole thing confuses me. I'm confused by it all. Anyway, I kind of would prefer to scrap it. So then do you just go to the one that it's meant to be or do you do a happy medium and do halfway which is what no, south the way australia that it's meant does to be. well south australia does a happy medium because it's because you know in queensland they scrapped it queensland scrapped um daylight savings recently right yeah and um the thing is there's people in on the border of new south wales and queensland where they uh new south wales is in daylight savings and when they go into queensland to work they have to go by the queensland time that's crazy. So I, I think, and I know that it goes against the normal time, but I think it should be the summer one. Because to me, lighter in the evening is healthier. No, it's not. It's worse. That's the one that's bad for you. Hold on. It's health. No, the lack of the loss of hour of sleep, according to what you were saying, was a bad thing. But if you no, no, don't change your clocks, you don't ever suffer that loss of hour no, of sleep. So it doesn't matter. But you're losing sleep at night because your body's not producing their melatonin naturally to be able to fall asleep because it's stay, it's light too long. That's what they're saying. It should but be you, darker in the evening. It shouldn't be lighter for that what, long. It what, shouldn't be light. It's for that dark long. by the time you go to sleep. Not here, it's not. It's still light. Eight thirty, nine o'clock. Sometimes it's still got light. Nine thirty, yeah. like the boy. As soon as what the time, clocks change in October, the what boys. What time are you going because... to sleep? The boys at like seven. Like if, you have, if you have seven. an eight-hour night, if you have an eight-hour night of sleep and you wake up at six a.m., which is I, early, that's still ten p.m. I don't know why you're arguing because the article says you. Yes, Due however, them, it's, however it shouldn't be so has light the article at night. Considered, has, has, remember, that's one article. Does it also no, consider no, no, the effects the of, argument. Does it also consider the effects of the fact that in the winter, when we are in normal time, by the time you finish work, you are in the dark, which is bad for people's mental health. That's why in countries where you don't get a lot of sunlight, they have a lot of suicide. They have a much higher suicidal rate because of seasonal affective disorder. Because in the winter, when you're in the dark, it's much worse for you. Yes. So I get what you're saying about the sleep, but it's it's this isn't a one sided thing. Like this. That's goes what both I'm saying. Ways. That's what I said. But I would say for your mental health, it's healthier to be lighter later because at mm. least when you finish, because because we live in a world where you work, you have to do that. At least when you finish work, like my mental health has increased well, in the last week because when I finish mm. work, I can go and do things for a solid hour and a half, two hours before it gets dark. 
Mm-hmm. Whereas last week, half an hour after I finished work, it was dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it's completely, it's completely changed my life. Like, <laughs> it's a big difference. And the winter, because we go backwards, it's dark before you finish work. Like, that yeah. completely shifts the way you behave as a human. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. I would much rather it be because we live in a world where you work. I would much rather it be later, lighter later, than lighter earlier. Like lighter earlier doesn't benefit. Pe- like it just means you're awake earlier. Yeah, well, right. that's your, I'm your awake point early of view. Before work, awesome. And I agree with those points as well. But I also I, I like I prefer it not to be so like late. But anyway, um, the I think when you stick to just one time eventually that will be better it's the changing that makes people sick Mm. it's changing back and forth back and forth deb you sent this through and it's to do with poop yay poop it's just a quick two minute article of course (laughs) poop what would a what would a tbsw be without poop 100%. 100%. <laughs> um, and I guess it was to do with... It's, if, it's if health. P- it's, if, a, it's a very healthy topic. If poo floats, is it healthy or not? Or why does it float and why does it sink? So a doctor said that... Wait, do you guys a- check if you've got no. a healthy... No. What? You just don't... No, you ch- check if you've got healthy poo. If you look down and it's at the bottom of the thing... I never I don't. check that. You don't, don't check? Do. You don't check for blood? You don't check? No. Mm. Ah. Is that a standard thing for you, checking for blood? <laughs> no, checking for the like size of the poop. Just no. checking in general. Hmm. What, you want to see your work? <laughs> when yeah, you say the... check, like I know you're using the word check. Visually to, check. To make sure... <laughs> Because there are certain look, things you're uh, uh, looking uh, uh, for. But I, I feel like know. you're not Did checking. You have a you're look? just... Like observing, I am observing. Like, do you have a look at the standard of poo? I feel yeah, like sometimes... you're just more curious than you are I checking curious. for things. Yeah, because <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you can get that. Um, you can get the the big one, right? And it's just a big one, all right? And then sometimes you get the pellet ones. I just, for anyone listening, I just want to let people know when he said the big one, he did a hand gesture which suggested anything from you know small to about a foot and a half in length. Yeah. Um, <laughs> When it starts, how big? When it starts to go up the air spin, ones, bro. when it starts to go up the air spin, and you go, oh, oh, oh that was a good one. No breakage. You know what I mean? No, have I you watched understand. South Park? No, there's a whole episode no, I, in South Park about this. I don't like. I don't watch South Park. I'm not a fan. But I never, like, I, I don't understand. Am I, I never actually thing? see mine because I actually put t- toilet paper in the in the thing first, and then it's covered. Buy more toilet paper. So I is that what is that why your house is always running out of toilet paper? <laughs> no, it's the kids. The kids trying to wipe their ass. Okay, mate, you don't have to use half the roll to wipe your. Bo- your bottom's the smallest one here. I don't understand why you're using half the bloody roll. Oh my gosh, what the hell? I, I, I use a lot of toilet paper too. I, I like to have a clean I, yeah, I, I don't know if lot. you know this, but you're a man. My kids, I don't know. They're, they're, it's never mind. Anyway. I use a lot, I use a lot. But okay, so apparently, I, in general, healthy poos should float. Means there's more fiber in them and more moisture. However, oh. there are if you. However, sometimes unhealthy poos float too. Like if you're malnourished. But <laughs> it's, only, <laughs> it's extreme. So really, <laughs> you can be malnourished or healthy. God knows. Yeah. <laughs> so. The, it, it's not informative at all, then, whether they fly or not. <laughs> no. So the information, but I mean, is malnourished, helps like no way. you might be, like it's you've got some disease, or you might be from a country where you there's malnourishment mainly. Anyway, so so um, when you when you poop and it floats, you go like your instinctual reaction is ah oh, healthy. Oh wait, I could be dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm, and then if it sinks, it there's less um less water less water oh not enough water less water less uh and maybe less fiber Mm, i don't wait can i go back i find it crazy that no one checks their poo (laughs) i find it absolutely crazy that no one checks their poo no no i I look i don't check like 
I, yeah, I don't, I'm not like, talking. You, know, you get a get a, a pencil a and and like swirl it around, but like I go, oh, that's good poo. I poop. I wipe. When I'm satisfied that I've wiped enough, I flush the toilet. And I wash you don't my look hands. Back. You don't no. look at the poop. You don't look back. It. To be fair. To be fair, I will say this. It might also be because my flusher is behind my lid, so I have to close my lid in order to flush my toilet. Oh yeah, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. Okay, you've got that uh, metal one, the old yeah, school metal should, one. Yeah, but you should, you should no, close no, no, the lid. No, no, it's a push one, but it like where the toilet it sits behind where the toilet lid flaps up to. Well, that's a bit weird. Isn't yeah, it? that is strange. But yeah, I, I have a gauge. You well. should. I don't have like a, a look like. You should close the toilet lid before you flush, anyway, because particles fly out otherwise. This is true. Emma made me realise that. Yeah. And that's why I always keep my toothbrush far away from my toilet. Good. Oh, I'm so glad. Well done. I like that. Well done. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, an interesting thing is somebody asked the doctor why. Doctor do- who? I don't know. This- Carl. No, not oh. Doctor Who. Doctor Dr. Pooh. Um, why do we not poo like wombats, for instance? What? How do wombats poo? Wow. Wait, what? Well, I had to Google this then. They have square poops, quite uniformly squared, actually. Square poops? Yeah. Dropping yeah. knowledge. Why did this person know what wombat poop was enough to ask the question? It's a thing because a if you farmer. Google it, it's, I guess lots of people have asked this question before. Um, why don't we poop like wombats? Or like, why do wombats have square poo? Or just wombat poop and it will bring up lots of articles. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the reason is because their intestinal tract is extremely long. It's a lot longer than ours. And there's ridges which form it into that shape. But because it's so long, by the time it gets towards the end, a lot of the moisture has been drawn out. And then... Drawn out so they can reuse it? Drawn out of the poop. And then the very end of their intestinal tract is quite soft. So then it doesn't reshape the square poop that's been formed in the ridges previously. And so when they poop it out, it's still square. Wow. And also... They have have sinkers. Yeah. And... Yeah, that's why. Wow. Have you guys heard about this mischief versus Nike situation over the past week? No. 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 What if I said Lil Nas X? Yes. No. The blood. No. No. So Lil Nas X released a song. Can't remember what it's called. Montero's, I don't know, something where he in it is in hell, goes into hell, and he's fraternizing with the devil, giving the devil like a lap dance and stuff, and then at the end of it, he kills the devil. Um, he gives the devil a lap dance? Yeah. Oh, okay. um, do you know Lil Nas X? Yes. Old Town Road? Yeah. Old Town, but you know, like, he's. Uh, since since he's become famous is like openly gay but like quite a uh flamboyant character nah. in terms of like had nah. no, no idea. idea no idea he was gay. no idea yeah I, I, oh I, I this is like a gay. huge part of his brand Wait, <laughs> so what? Like, oh. yeah when did okay. this happen like uh, the, he came out ages yeah, ago. like last when he I became famous that. yeah totally oh, um, no, last year it. i think it was it. so like he but he uses it to troll people who don't what? like it oh okay so like for example he's he's posted pictures of him as uh like a transitioned person like with boobs and all that kind of stuff and he wears crazy outfits like but he does it he does it as part of his own self-expression but he also leverages it to annoy people who get annoyed by things like that because to him oh, okay like this man since the day he became famous like, i followed him on twitter is a level 1000 troll like this right. guy is very, very good at trolling people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like, so he's a not 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 a nice person. No, he's a nice he's a nice person. But when I say troll, like he knows how to get under people's skin, and it's typically oh, okay. the people's skin he's getting under are people who hold very old school conservative uh, opinions. Okay. So, for example, like people who don't like gay people and things like that. If you get what uh, I mean, uh, like, yeah. But he so. And he's very good at like poking fun at himself. I said, I. 
very yeah. good at poker fun himself so anyway this this music video comes out um and then part of this marketing is there's this company called mischief who i think historically they've released a shoe where it's like an, an air max an old air max but they've put in the bubble bit at the bottom they've put in water which has like one 60 cc's or like a drop of holy water in there as well so like they've done this in the past they basically rebrand shoes and make them this new style new look yeah so in partnership with Lil Nas X they released this Satan shoe which was this red and black this black and red accented shoe and in the and it's the Air Max as well and in the bubble bit with the liquid it's this red liquid with one drop of human blood like that's part of the marketing thing um and then people were going crazy about this and people were calling out Nike going, I cannot believe you've partnered with this guy because no one knew about Mischief. Like they weren't a right, massive company. Right, right, right. What's so Mischief? So people thought it was Nike. They're, a com- they're the company that made the shoe with like, they take, they're not a shoe company. They take existing shoes and then like rebrand them. And sell oh, okay. Them. Um, so it's like an artist expression. Wait, couldn't Nike sue them? So sue this who? is what's happening right now. Wait. I'm so confused. I'm so sorry. Who did this shoe? Nike or Mischief? I knew you weren't paying finish. attention. Mischief. So this new shoe is not a Nike shoe. No. So no. people are it's outraged. It's a Nike shoe that's been rebranded as Mischief. People are outraged because they're saying, how could Nike partner with Lil Nas X in producing the Satan shoe? Oh, all these crazy things. It's disrespectful. Blah, 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 blah. So now Nike, in response, have had to come out and say, this isn't our shoe, we didn't do this, and now they're suing Mischief, the company that actually created that, that style shoe. Um, well, and part how- of it, and this is where, like, part of it is... Wait, but wait. How can Mischief do a Nike shoe with the Nike tick and everything when it's not their shoe? Well, that's what they're saying. The fact Nike's suing them over the fact that the swish is prominent on the shoe. But even if it wasn't prominent, that's counterfeit, right? So that's illegal. So why would this company think they could do that? I'm so well, no, confused. it's just completely new. Like they've they've completely restyled, recreated the shoe. But it's still you, got yeah, no swoosh. It's like an, it's like you it's know, like if you you, use, you know there's guys that paint Nikes, right? Yeah, it's like if you um do commentary on someone else's content. Like there's free use. There's there's ways you can deal with things like this if you're doing an expression of something oh okay because you're not you're not branding it as something as your own branded shoe you're branding it as your own take on that shoe and selling it so they're not saying it's a nike shoe they're saying we bought this nike shoe and we've added this to it and now we're selling it yeah like everyone knows it's not like they mischief didn't make the shoe oh okay i got you I was going to say, they should have used the triple Bs, mate. So, yeah. So, <laughs> this this has all happened. Uh, now this lawsuit's going. But some it's been put out there that this was possibly a very calculated move by Mischief because they knew this was going to happen. Because in part of the lawsuit is they're not allowed to... Any, any shoes that haven't been already shipped or anything, they're not allowed to send out. They have to stop selling. Now, there's only 666 shoes sold. Like, that was part of it. Um, right. and 665 of them have already been shipped. They're like, sorry, we've already shipped them. Which means oh. people are saying they obviously planned this because they knew that order was going to come down. So yeah, that yeah, they, yeah. Sh- they shipped them out that quickly because it's happened mm-hmm. within like, I think within 24 hours or something. Like, it was very quick. Oh. Um, but the shoes sold out like instantly. The only reason yeah. that one, one of them wasn't is because that was going to be like a special one that they signed and did other stuff with, I think. Um, but yeah, it's got people going absolutely crazy on it. And part of the counter argument for... I don't know if Lil Nas X said this himself. I can't remember. But he he's he doesn't care. Like the guy, he's he's leaned into this. And like he's gone on Instagram Live doing like crying and all this. And then turns it into listen to the song. Like he, he just does not care that people are outraged by this in any way, shape or form. But part of his thing is you have used the devil against me as being a gay person my whole life and told me i'm going to hell and now you're offended because i'm saying like i'm insinuating that i'm going to hell like 
what are you how like where this make this make sense yeah, um, yeah. but then also people are saying this isn't new like people have used satan all over the place and people have and weirdly enough as well satan is gay in a lot of things like a lot of depictions of satan is like satan's in kids cartoons as like powerpuff girls there was a gay satan um i, didn't even I don't know, know that. if you ever remember cow and chicken but there was... <laughs> What's cow and chicken? That's an old cartoon. Wait, there's an Aussie cow ad for beer and the the Satan, I think he appears gay as well. I'm sure. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't know why no. Satan's always gay in things, but anyway, the, yeah. So there's people saying this is just a complete, complete and utter um, double standard in terms yeah. of the way that people are coming after him when they haven't gone after other things in the past. Um, and he is just killed like this has blown up his song this has blown up the marketing of his brand again like this is what i mean by he's like a level 1000 troll like he knew exactly what he was doing when he did this yeah yeah um and it's just got him more attention um that's the end of tbsw114 we talked about suez canal blockage advertisement controversy poop why does it float or sink Daylight savings should be abolished. That's what we've come up with. Um, Smash. No, we didn't talk about Smash Glass Art, did we? We talked about who you should follow for your team. Yep. And we also talked about Lil Nas X. And 90s music. We talked about 90s music. Yeah. And is it too much? Is the music too much nowadays? I don't Mm. think so. Oh, and we talked about dating. I do. We talked about dating. Who talked about dating? We opened the show with dating. We talked about dating. We had a whole... Thing. When? In the beginning. About dating. What were we talking about? Today. The very serious? first thing about we talked the about. French, about. I said I want what? to learn French so I could Why? pick up chicks. Oh. Je m'appelle, remember? Did we have a whole conversation about Oh, yeah. where'd you go? <laughs> were you here? Were you here? I'm pretty sure you were here. Were you here or the not? Ve- the very beginning of the show and it was like a 20 minute chat as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, about dating. And um, Ernest was asking me, me and um, Alexander questions about like, had do we prefer to see the women? Or? You called it stalkerish. Up. Remember. Yeah, you call oh, it stalkerish. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, we I have to. Oh, really, okay. you remember? I we got to remember. We got to reference what Emma said yeah. for her to remember. I <laughs> we can't, can't remember talk. the She obviously doesn't listen to any of us. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the ins and outs, but I remember vaguely talking about dating. <laughs> I thought my memory is bad. <laughs> Emma's is worse. Yes, yours is bad. Hers is worse. I have a bad memory. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, thanks for the conversation, uh, guys. Bad working memory. I should clarify. That's why you don't remember rapping well, beat well, out of the shower. Because your memory. Thank not you for the conversation, guys. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Thanks. All right. Oh, and we talked about how Putin was voted sexiest oh, man in sexy Russia. Bold oh, man. Actually, bold, we, bold just, man. we didn't even discuss we that. Didn't, we didn't discuss Putin. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, we discussed um, Harry. All right, He's guys. Bold. See you next He's week. All right, bye. bye. Peace. Bye. Jesus, Emma, are you not picking up cues of ending the podcast? Of what? That we're on a podcast? (laughs)